Hey everybody, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and I wanted to go over my horror enamel pin collection. So I just wanted to do a nice little quick little video for you. I've been collecting the pins and bought this cool uh, cork board and threw them all on here. So I'm going to go through each pin and show you what I got. Some I remember where I got them and some I don't remember at all. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get on with the pins. This is actually a pewter pin. I got from a horror block of Jason Voorhees mask. Uh, the Friday the 13th and the Camp Crystal Lake were from a uh, Spirit of Halloween store that came with a patch. So I got a bunch of those on this board because there's like pins and patches. The good old horror rental stickers uh, pin. Got that through eBay. Had to grab it because, you know, back in the day we used to rent video. They would put this green horror sticker. Loved it. Had to put an ecto cooler on there. I found that on eBay as well. Thought that was kind of neat. Uh, we have Salem's Lot. This is from I think the old horror block. Had these pins. Several of them came in a box. We got several of those. Like here's another one from horror block. This is the uh, gold coin from Leprechaun. So I thought that was kind of neat to throw that there. And another one from horror block. The Amityville, Amity, Amity Island swim team for uh, our swim club. For Jaws, so yeah, that uh, was kind of neat. Uh, another horror block is uh, from Scream. That was kind of a neat little pin. And of course, from Horror Block, they did a Amityville house. You don't see many of just the house, so I thought that was kind of cool. Then of course, Horror Block went under, so no more pins. But it, from them, but there's other blocks, boxes, and mystery boxes you can get. But you can probably find these pretty cheap on eBay. I definitely recommend the uh, Amityville pin because come on it's the house i uh, got good old from brain damage uh elmer from oh who put out the blue rail arrow came out with the pen so yeah uh michael myers i found on amazon it says no lives matter <laughs> i thought that was kind of neat this is an older pin uh we have vinegar syndrome pin from of course from vinegar syndrome I had to throw that on there Got a ash I found at a convention, and she kills. I got from SRS Cinema. If you know the movie, you know what that's all about. <laughs> uh, next we have is from the Barn Merch Store. That's the Candy Crow Scarecrow, the Miner, and Halloween Jack. If you're familiar with the Barn. Those are the three bad guys. Fucking awesome. I had to get the enamel pin set from them. Uh, Child's Play. Kind of good Chucky. That's also from a convention. Along with Jurassic Park and the Umbrella. I got all of those four from the same convention. They were like, you know, buy three, get one free. So I figured, what the hell, why not? Get some more pins. Uh, Howl Shark, again, from SRS Cinema. It came with the pin. Um, no, I think you had to buy the pin with with the uh, House Shark Kickstarter. So yeah, I had to get the pin. Happy Death Day. <laughs> Not the greatest, but this pin was like super, super cheap. I think from Fright Rags or something, it was like a couple bucks. Like, yeah, I figured, why not? Uh, through eBay, I found this cool Graboid pin. Now, it's kind of neat with the pin. The, the, the tongues, of course, move. So I think that was pretty cool. I uh, got myself a little uh, Nosferatu pin. That was from a mystery box. I think that was also Horror Block. Or it could be someone else. I don't remember. Uh, the Changeling. Awesome movie from uh, Severin. They did the, a pin, the movie. And of course I got the ball combo. Had to grab it. Love, the, love that movie. Wild Eye. Yeah. I got Vinegar Syndrome. So Wild Eye actually sent me this pin for free. When... Um, I was doing reviews for them, and I was surprised to see this pin. So I figured, eh, I got all different companies on here. Well, support Wild Eye. Uh, pool Party Massacre pin. <laughs> it's the kill with the hammer. thought that was pretty badass. And the Jaws Glow in the Dark. That was from, uh, oh, what store? It'll come to my mind. It'll come to me. It's not Spencer's, but uh, Hot Topic. Yeah. Another Hot Topic was the Scream Queen one. So I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, from Target, got the pin combo of the Demogorgon and Eleven. 
with that was a kind of nice little package and of course you got intervision right there and you got seven right there a couple other bigger pins my wife found this on eBay and Amazon it's uh, a Scooby-Doo van with Leatherface, Chucky, Ghostface, and Jason Voorhees. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Got the Crypt Keeper. She also bought me that for Christmas one year. I thought that was awesome. <clears throat> the I Heart Slashers. That was from a another horror. I think that was from the Box of Horrors, I think. Or Coffin Box. I think that was a Coffin Box, but uh, don't quote me on that. Next, this big pin was from Amanda Weiss. I got when I met her at a convention. She had a bunch of these big pins, and she had them for like five bucks. So of course I grabbed one. Thought that was pretty ass, pretty awesome. So yeah. Then we have Rock and Roll. Oh no, sorry, Trick or Treat. This is from the Little Box of Horrors pin. I thought that was pretty awesome. And they also did the Vamp. Uh, awesome, cheesy uh, vampire flick. And that goes in the dark. I got in Salem, this Ghoulies 2 pin, it's a toilet seat that lift up, a little Ghoulie right in there. Of course, Count Orlock's uh, Nightmare Gallery, gotta support them, I love that uh, wax museum. They had their own enamel pin, so I had to buy it, and it actually does glow in the dark. A couple of those uh, pins from the uh, Spirit of Halloween, <clears throat> they come with pins and patches, so I threw those on there. But that was kind of neat. And Maniac. Um, I think this was also another one from like a mystery box, but I found it on eBay for five bucks. I had to grab it because I love Maniac and got to have a Maniac pin. Then over here we have from Creep Show the TV series, the head in the, the house. I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, Fluffy from Creep Shade. Creep Shade. Creep Show 2. I think these were all Fright. Fright, um, Fright Rags pins. Uh, of course, we have uh, Return of the Living Dead Part 3. Love that chick. Captain Spaulding. The uh, Grotesque Monster from the Creep Show TV show as well. Those are both from the first two. Sam from Trick or Treat. I got at a convention. No, no, that was also a Fright Rags. So that was Fright Rags. Uh, these two were at conventions. That Terrifier Clown and the Silver Shamrock. And for some reason, that Silver Shamrock is getting kind of grungy. I gotta figure out how to clean that up. If everybody knows how to get that more shiny, I'd like to hear, like to know on that. Uh, we also have from House. This is also another uh, Fright Rags. And of course, the hand hits the button. <laughs> Ding dong, you're dead. This is all fry rags. This was from Alien Day from, I forgot when. It was super cheap. It was like three bucks. So, of course, I said, well, I'll throw that in with the collection there. Got to have an alien on there. From Vinegar Syndrome, uh, Tammy and the T-Rex. <laughs> Saw the movie. I fucking loved it, so I had to grab the pin. Uh, that Freddy Glove is also another um, patch combo with uh, other pins from... Uh, Spirit of Halloween. Same with that Nightmare on Elm Street pin. We got the Vinegar Syndrome logo. Had to throw that on there. Also from Vinegar Syndrome. Spookies. I didn't get them all. I just bought the, the spider one because I love the spider monster and spookies. Another Spirit of Halloween glove. The Void. Love the Void. I think that was from uh, Creepy Cavity Colors maybe. Not sure, but I love the void. Had to grab the pin. I love the way that looks. Then we got Silent Night, Deadly Night. Uh, I forgot where I got that one. Uh, you have a Ghostbusters. It was kind of like a, a mystery pin. You opened up the box. It looked like a ghost trap, and it was just random. So, of course, I got uh, Stay Puff. so I threw him on here. And last but not least, Leslie Vernon, which actually opens up and shows his face in there. So I thought that was kind of neat. So that's actually my horror pin collection. Uh, let me know what your thoughts, guys. I got a little room left. If I could find some little horror pins or whatnot, I'll put them down in there. But right now, a lot of the bigger pins will not fit. So I did my best to put them all on this board, and I like it. So I like this board and to show it off and see what people have to say. 
All right, guys, love to hear your thoughts, uh, especially on horror enamel pins. And uh, put them in the comments down below. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have yourself a good one. Later. Peace.